Hi Scorpios, welcome to Cheeky Spiritual Guide. This is going to be your love reading for April 25th through the 30th. We're going to see what can you expect to happen that week. So what's forthcoming? I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're healthy, you're happy, life is good to you, and you are good to it. Also, if you are a new or returning viewer or subscriber, thank you. I appreciate you. Your presence is always welcome, okay? All right, Scorpio, let's get into this. Let's get into this reading. What can Scorpio expect to happen? What do we have? Six of Wands. The Fool. Woo. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. Oh, Eight of Cups. Okay. Eight of Cups. Walking away. Leaving something behind. Um, or are you searching for something? You're looking for something that suits you, that fits you, that's good for you. What is best for Scorpio? That could be some of you. Some of you are searching for this. Okay. If not, you are definitely walking away from a person or a situation or a mindset or a habit, etc. So let's find out. What do we have here? Overcoming an obstacle. So some of you are succeeding in something and you're taking a leap forward. All right. You're taking a leap forward. You're, you're stepping out on faith. Some of you are stepping out of your comfort zone, doing something you wouldn't normally be doing. Like, normally I would not be doing this, but I'm doing it. All right. Yeah, definitely. Uh, maybe you're being recognized. Maybe someone's paying attention to something that you're doing. This is good. This is going to be for the week of the 25th. And something around your, your stability or a long-term relationship. But we'll find out. Clarify this Six of Wands. Oh, 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 the emperor. All right, are you a boss? Are you <laughs> a parental figure? Are you a spouse? Some of you are just taking authority over your life. You're taking authority over your your careers. Um, taking authority over yourselves. And with the queen of swords there... I don't think you're messing around. I think you're playing. You're cutting out all the crap that does not serve you. And that could be the Eight of Cups. But we'll see. We'll see if that's still you searching for something that's better for you. But here, I do see you overcoming some obstacles and taking charge. What is the energy of the Six of Wands? Okay, so you have the Temperance reversed and the Eight of Wands. Um, you could have had a conversation with someone, someone could have sent you a message and it was all about, uh, maybe some sort of conflict or how things are not in harmony or balanced in your life. I don't know if you are inspired by this or you decided to do something about it. Maybe someone had something to say. Or this is, could be you overcoming this. You're being successful at bringing forth some type of balance or harmony in your life. And I don't know, you had a conversation with someone about this, possibly. Uh, let me just pull one more card. Why the Eight of Wands? I'll say. I, almost, I saw the chariot. So maybe, maybe this is a thing of you moving forward and implementing harmony in your life. Why the Eight of Wands? The eight of wands here. Oh, the seven of swords. Oh, yeah. So perhaps you had some, uh, maybe there was, I don't know, there was some shadiness going on in your life. You could have had a conversation with someone. Maybe it came out shady. Maybe that person was lying. Um, maybe uh, maybe you felt betrayed. Maybe you feel like it was an unwise attempt at something. Maybe it's like, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, I don't know. Take it how it resonates. It can kind of fall either way. But I see you maybe as a result of this. 
that now you're in this like serious mode. I'm getting very powerful, very strong. I mean, the emperor with the queen of swords is super powerful. Okay. Like no nonsense. Clarify the fool. Oh, you have the ten of cups. So you're going after your happy. You're going after your happily ever after. You're going to take some risks. You're going to do something. You're going to step out of your comfort zone. I like it. I like it a lot. Why the Ten of Cups? Okay. Woo. All right. You're a little nervous to step out of your comfort zone. It's like I you want this thing, but look, taking a leap of faith towards something. I think this is more like you stepping out of your comfort zone. It could be a little bit scary, okay? And with the star in reverse, um, there's not a lot of faith, even though the fool card is a stepping out on faith card. But the star in reverse tells me you're willing to take the risk, but you may not have a lot of faith on what's on the other side, okay? Whatever, wherever that happily ever after is, it's like, I, I want to go toward that thing. I want to do something different. But I feel like you don't have a lot of positive thoughts about it. You know what I'm saying? Why the star in reverse? Let's just see what comes out. Why the star in reverse? Oh, the queen of pentacles. Okay, so this could be a person. I don't know, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, are you going to try to take a leap towards someone? But you're so hopeless. Like you're not, you're not really, you don't really believe in it as much. What is the energy of the fool? Oh, the four of cups. There's something here that doesn't excite you. Okay. I feel you want to do this. But I think your hopelessness is not making you as excited about it. I think you're you're more in the energy of fear than like, yes, let's do it. Let's go. Let's let's go toward it because you don't think it's going to work out or you don't think it's going to happen the way you want it to. I'm kind of getting that energy. So let's clarify this Ten of Pentacles, please. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Oh, so the King of Pentacles in the reverse with the Two of Swords. Like, do you want long-term? I feel like you want long-term relationship. A long-term. You want something that's stable and solid. But it's almost like you don't have control over that stable or solid relationship or situation, whatever that may be. Um, uh, and I, I think you're just, I don't know, are you just feeling like a little indecisive on what to do? Why the two of swords? The justice. Yeah. I think the star is really, it's really throwing a wrench in what you're doing, okay? I feel like it's stopping you from moving forward to something. It's something about feeling hopeless. Let me tell you, it, it does stop you from moving forward. Um, but because if you were more excited and more ambitious, I don't think you would be in this energy of not being in control, you know, kind of indecisive, not really sure you should go for it. The justice is to bring about that balance, that fairness. Maybe you want to do this with that person. I want to bring balance to the situation. I want to fix it. Some of you writing a wrong, apologies. That could be at play. But I don't know. Do you? Maybe you don't feel like it will happen. What is the energy of the Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you have the Two of Pentacles. So you're just not sure. And that's fine. And I think it's to bring an offer. Look, these two kind of came out, but they didn't come out. The Lovers and the Knight of Cups. This is to make someone an offer. But you're not sure if you should, which, you know. I feel like some of you, now that I'm seeing this, 
I feel like this is a conversation you had someone had with someone that you weren't revealing your true feelings. <laughs> I'm just saying, um, I feel like you've achieved a lot in your life. You've had some successes and maybe there is a lack of balance. Maybe you don't have everything you want. The temperance in reverse tells me that maybe you're frustrated Maybe you are impatient. Um, you're wanting to do something. I feel like you had a conversation with someone. And it may have been a great conversation, but you did not say how you felt. The Seven of Swords. Why is the Four of Cups here? Oh, the High Priest is in the reverse. I think it's because you don't know. So... Well, that's the that's the reason why you take a leap of faith toward a person. You know, that's why it's called a leap of faith. It's because you you don't know what's on the other side. Faith is believing in something unseen, right? Or unknown. So um, let's get your advice. Okay. Let's see what you should do here. The best course of action for you. So that eight of cups, your underlying energy could be. You're looking for something. You're looking for your happily ever after. You're looking for something, the best thing for you, which I like. All right. What advice do you have for Scorpio here? What advice do you have for Scorpio? You have two. King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. All right. So you can have a, really some kind of like very dominant, strong energy here. Um, and maybe that's because you are taking control over your life, your love life, your career. Well, first and foremost, I mean, both of these individuals take control. They take charge, right? Um, not in like a, a um, like I'm just dominating over everybody and everything. It's not like that. Is they make sure things get done. They make sure conversations get had. They make sure the money is right. They make sure everybody's taken care of, okay? Um, the King of Pentacles is very mature. And so is the Queen of Swords. She's been through a lot. So she has a lot of experience. And I feel like I'm stock, I, I could be talking to a Scorpio in, who's embodying this energy, Okay, um, I feel like whatever you do, take a mature approach. Um, and I feel like these cards favor honesty because I think I saw that you weren't being straight up about how you feel, where you, what your feelings are. We cannot worry about the outcome. These two individuals are not worried about the response they get from putting it out there what they want, right? They want to take someone out on a date they're not worried if this person rejects them because they're just going after what they want and it's like okay especially king of pentacles it's like all right i asked this person out they said no fine that's fine they're allowed to say no to me it doesn't define me it doesn't you know invalidate my worth or anything it just lets me know this person is not interested and i must move forward so take cue from our our king and our queen here from the from the pentacles and the sword family because they don't play that and they're not waiting around they're not afraid to take leaps of faith i can promise you they're not they're not afraid to take leaps of faith so i think your advice here is to embody the king of pentacles and the queen of swords you can even google the king of pentacles and the queen of swords so you can see their characteristics learn about them okay learn about them see what they're about see how they get down look at their the, their backgrounds right the story behind these two individuals and embody that okay because you know i see you want to take a leap of faith you want you want to be a big boss person go for it do your thing go after your happy ever after trust me they are not afraid and they even if they feel hopeless, they're doing it anyway. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there. I hope this was helpful. Good luck. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you next time. Mwah. Deuces.